Yes. Not appropriate. Oi, oi. All right. What's happening? I thought it was about time I put this bloody thing back together. Or we'll start to, because Carl isn't doing it. Um, no commitment from the boy. No, there isn't. Uh, so the, I don't know whether we remember, but we started off with this. Ew. Yeah. And on the day, I put a Bosch Motorsport pump in, and we kind of got back to here. There you go. Right. Which is fine. Yep. Uh, so I just need to give the top bit a little bit of a clean off and we've got some plugs, but I don't know whether you remember, oh, but the, shot through there, look. I know the wiring for the level sender was knackered. So that's the level sender. Yep. So Steve at GWR has redone that for me. So we just need to reassemble that in there. And we can essentially then put the fuel tank back together and close the fuel tank off. And once I've put the fuel tank back together, I can put the back um, panel back in, I can put a battery at that sort of thing. So yeah, I thought Dav, we would do that because I need to clean the fuel tank out anyway. Uh-huh. Um, old school spannering. I know. With my snap-on 10 mil. Of course. Japanese, isn't it? Everything's 10 mil on these. Everything. So, a bit of a recap on this Skyline project then. Yes, because it has been a while whilst we have waited for stuff. Yeah. Uh, so this was Carl's dad's car that we bought. And uh, um, the engine and gearbox are out of it, which is sat over there. Have a look. There you go. Underneath there. Uh, RP25. So manual conversion almost done. Almost done. Almost done. So the bits we're waiting for now is JM Garage are making their own clutch pedal and bracket because you can't get them. So I'm just waiting for Paul to send that up to me and a template to cut the hole for the slave cylinder. Yeah. So those are the last heat be gone booty bits. Um, if I get a light and then you can have a butcher's down into it all lad. So as you can see, can you see all the muck and mess down in the bottom? Yeah? You zoom past the hole. You wanna go in mm. deeper? That is all sort of swarf and rust and muck. So I'm gonna get Jordan's hoover out in a minute. Yep. And try and get in there. Uh, I imagine a few fuel tanks Full t fuel tanks worth of fuel is going to have to go through it as well to sort of because the tank is dry now. Yeah. Whereas we've had it open for so long, so it's gassed off. But I'm going to have to get a rag in there and try and wipe off as much debris as I can. Wipe off a load of Debbie. in there. Never got in a boot of a car with a hoover. Sounds like a kinky night in that, doesn't it? <laughs> right, Dan, let's climb in a boot. In you get. <sighs> what the f <laughs> I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. <laughs> This is a ball ache, man. There you go. All right. Look at 
Eh? The glamorous world of a supercar specialist. Mate, it honestly feels like I'm trying to help a cow give birth. <laughs> I feel like I'm wanking off horse. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> right, where we at? I haven't, ra I haven't robbed a Juden rag. That, this is not going to be used for detailing cars. <laughs> no, it's currently being used to detail a fuel tank. Um, along with some excellent Citroen degreaser. Ah. Citroen degreaser? <laughs> I think I meant citrus degreaser. So it works on Peugeot. Yeah. Available at your friendly Pro Detail web shop. I use so much of his product, he should sponsor me. You should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't pay to use his product. <laughs> just walk in his bay and take it. We also use his bay for questions and things quite often. Yeah, oh, I found a plug. We do. It's like our own little film studio. Um, right, I can get that bit. Dav, I don't think I'm going to get the bottom. How do we overcome this? Uh, issue? I need, I need a. Shit, me! Look at that rust down there, boy. <laughs> who, f who cleaned it inside this fuel tank, Mush? <sighs> right. <laughs> oh, right. Can't really see a lot with what I'm filming. I, I was just about to say, does it just look like I've got my hand in a bloody great big hole? Pretty much, yeah. It looks like you're just hiding in a boot. <laughs> Cuddling a Henry Hoover. Cuddle anything that sucks. Ah. <laughs> 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 You want to light a match so you can see what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Good job we haven't got a smell of vision because it is quite... Uh, Pungent. Yes. <sighs> With this seven-year-old fuel or whatever it is. Yeah, it's pretty punchy, isn't it? Right. Stick your lens in there then, mate. Right deep in the hole. So you can see I've got the top bit clean. If you go, can you see the very, very top up here is clean, look? Oh. oh I'm pushing your hands now too. Yeah. But can you see the, right in the bottom? Can you see, can you see the Debbie right in the bottom? Mm -hmm. I can't reach that. How do we? Uh, <sighs> well, uh, I'm gonna have to put the sucking stick back in. Stick. And then I might have to use like a broom handle with the rag on to, Snap on broom handles. Yeah. Does snap on do broom handles? Nice. Jace, you watch these videos. Text me if snap on do a broom handle. Still waiting for that snap on sponsorship to come through. Well, I sucked up a load. Oh. Where's my airline? Oh, I've got more fucking bits everywhere. Oh, now I've dropped my rag. But I can't reach the bottom of my tank. Inspector Gadget on. I know. Go, go, Gadget arm. Go, go, Gadget arm. There you go. That's what was in my fuel tank. Go, go, Gadget arm. Right. More bits. What have we got then? So that's my fuel tank bit. So a brand new seal, which was 60 quid, and the top cap, I'll give that a wash off. Yeah. The two brackets, which in the last videos we redid, so that that bracket holds the level sender on. Yeah. There's my fuel pump. So literally what we'll do is we will connect the batteries. Yeah, so fuel pump, 
in there and then it goes up to that connector like so there's one inside the fuel tank that i've got to do yeah but essentially that's that and because i can link that there to there and then this one links into here yeah and then there's a connector inside the tank for that but what we've got to do first is can you see that's quite green indeed so we'll give that a clean with some electrical cleaner that's the float that sits up and down so that's what does your level um, and then that goes inside that plastic canister and that's basically your level sender so we'll give that a little bit of a clean and then we can reassemble this bad boy which is that which i can't remember it goes back together now that's how we work right let's living on a, the edge yep let's give this a clean first you can see the greenness you've got electrical contact cleaner we'll just give everything a good Scrubbings. Oh, double up. Right. Go on. I've cleaned that up. So that's what does the levelings. Nice action. Thanks. Smooth as a goose. Oh, that was my knee. Um, I think. Cool. This is. Who thought this bit would be the thinking part? All right, that goes like that. works right so you happy no because i've forgotten where this goes <laughs> back in the hole oh i did that and i gotta put a bracket on first Fagan Fergans. Right. That goes in there like that. Right. That's warning, Dav. You know what I'm saying, bruv? Yep. Nope. I remember, I remember. It's all coming back to you. It's all coming back to me now. Don't know why I'm singing that because I hate Celine Dion. Get in the shop. Get a bit of endorsement out of them. Um, <laughs> what is it? Rocket? Gorilla. Gorilla. Oh, have you not got a full one? Eh? Have you not got a full one? No, thanks. OMG's new sponsor. Nice. Right. That's in, that. that's in, that's in, that's in. So I've got another wire around here somewhere that I've got to find. That's the end. That was our uh, resident aerodynamic specialist. <laughs> G. G dog. So that's Mikey's dad. Mikey Hardy. Oh, I can just about reach it. Yes. Right. You literally reached around then. <sighs> that goes in the fuel top. All right, mate. Do you want to? Oh, I got a zip tie me wiring on first, so let's do that. We can tuck that back in. That's my seal. Just need to give that a wash. That goes in me tankings.
watching doing that. Alright. Ow. How does that come up in there, Mush? One eternity later. Oh, that went in. Boof! Eat my goal! Oh, look at the relief. Oh, bloody hell. Yep, that is in. Oosh. Do not want to be doing that again. It's taking, what's that, hour? Seriously? Easy, yeah. Just trying to get the fuel pump hanger back in. And the reason it was a pain in the ass is because we've obviously changed the fuel pump. It's a slightly different size to the old one. And the tank is like a kidney tank with two sections. And I couldn't get the pump high enough between the two kidneys to hook the two clasps over. And obviously you can't see what you're doing. And I can't see what I'm doing. So in the end, I've had to like take the pump back out and kind of keep twisting it in the housing to get it to luck to get it in the right place so it will then drop in and give me the clearance I need and you can't like yeah get in do you know what I mean right send her in not as in send her in as in send her in <laughs> right, that is on So, oh, fuel pump. Right, mate. You see in there? So we've got fuel tank sender in, the fuel pump in, all the fuel pump brackets. Then obviously this bad girl. So that plugs into that. Like so. And it goes that way. Which way does that go? Is that one plug? Another O's somewhere, Mush. There it is. Just can't feel it. Right. Can I have me or, 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 or. seal down on that box? <laughs> Can I have my seal? Yeah. I've just got that. Seal? Fuck. Chris, watch your language. No, that's how you say seal in French. Fuck. He's right, Lois. Look. Like your mechanics joke, wasn't it? Blown a seal. You dirty bastard. <laughs> I just like help more. A splash of light over a beam. Right, have you got out moist, lad? Uh, is that tin of electrical clean down there? Let's use some like that. Because it would be right. Because you shouldn't use silicone anywhere near to fuel. There you go. Like a glove. That line's up there. That one. Maybe a twisty twisty. That one line's up there. That one line's up there. Right, mate. Plastic threads. Who come up with plastic threads? Nope. 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 I think that's right. Yes. There we go. Sorted. Ugh. Thanks for coming. Simple as that. Yeah. That was hard work, that.
Mitch? Yeah? Do me a favour, mate. Yeah? Open the bonnet for me. So just direct them. Uh, Chuck the yellow, please, mate. Okay. Right, watch your eyeballs. Got them? Ready? Stop, stop, oh. stop. <laughs> right. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. No. The other one. Yeah. Probably be a good idea. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's clear now. Brown. Not nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what shiny goodies we have. Blooming that glad that is tight. Go on him. So Fuel pipes are sat on, and we got some very nice single ear clamps because I hate those jubilee bloody things everyone uses. Yeah. So we literally just yeah, much better. Yeah, looks factory as as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Just gotta make sure you get them in the right place before you squeeze them up. Like so. Yeah. Nothing's loose, that's fine. Right, dear boy, there is a metal plate under here. Feed through like that. Plug on. Plug on. Say good night, Kevin. Happy? That's good to me. Factory fresh. Gone. Romeo done. Two more of them set somewhere that we're fine to put in. So we have the ability to uh, run fuel now. Yeah, add fuelings. You got any fuel? Just kind of need an engine and a gearbox. Go with it. So you shout out, Paul. Right, I've got two more bolts to put on, and that is done. I can put the back shelf back together. So what are you uh, replacing now? So that's the amp. The Kenwood system. Yeah. That and that. Right. 
So replacing the rear panel. Yeah. It's going grand, lad. Oh, and there's a little trim clip to hold the dead headlining in. That goes there. Plugs in that. That one plugs in there. That's the battery live. So that cover can go back on. So, that's on. Off. And then in theory, here yeah boy. Bosch. <laughs> Guess who makes the battery? Bosch. Tip. <laughs> right, if I get that hoover out. Got to that stage. Yes. Bosch. needs a nut and a bolting but that goes on there like so but terminals bloody not good mate and then that one goes on there but that terminal's not much better either uh, I need to sort out. I'm not happy with that breather hose. If you look in there, look, I have that breather. Yeah, there we go. It should go inside the battery, but it doesn't fit. Mmm. What are we going to do about that then? So, I have to try and make something or make a little adapter. It's all right. Progress. We have a nap. No. We have a nap. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a nap. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's on there. That's solid. I don't think I've left anything else unplugged. Romeo done. Nice. Romeo done. Did he? Yeah, he's got the front now, isn't it? So you can see how much we've had to strip the inside, though. So the clocks, the dash has come apart. Yeah, because obviously the standard clocks are for um, kilometers. Yeah, and we're mapaha, and obviously all of that taken apart for the manual conversion. Yeah. Um, so here's the auto trim. So that's gone. The auto gate that's gone. Uh, there's a cable up here that goes to the parking lot. Just got to be, you can't take the. Um, so if you, does it pull it? Or one way or the other, it won't let you take it out of. Right. There you go, it's like that. So now I can't take my key out. Of course. There's a little switch in the back of the key barrel so it won't let me take it out and then as if I've gone to park then it makes me take it here so I've got to sort that out um, which is just that little one there uh, and then the gear knob will stick up, stick up through the top and then it's just a case then of that's the um, 
auto binnacle. Yeah. So what I need to do is I need to take this apart, um, which we could do next week to be fair. I've got another binnacle and all I'm gonna do essentially is swap my uh, tack okay. onto the other one and then it can all go back together then really. So yeah, it's all right mate. And then the inside can go back together. <laughs> Take the steering wheel off. I take the steering wheel off. I need to send my steering wheel away. Is this the one that's sticky? Yeah, it's very sticky there. I wonder whether we can pop these up, sand them down. It's mainly that one, isn't it? It is. And um, you get like interior paint or something. And then pedals. Last bit to sort, really, is the pedals. So. Sweet. Okay. Thanks for joining. Smash buttons. Let me know how much of a faff that was and how, much, how I could have done it better. And I'm going to eat some food. I'm starving. Right. Laters. Boop.